Hello, my name is Jurgen, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And yes, we're back with the Soviet heavy tanks, of course. This is the IS-7 Tier 10 Soviet heavy tank, one of two, the other being the IS-4. Now, the IS-7, and I'm getting a very nice boost of speed there. Normally, you wouldn't go that fast in an IS-7, uh, as you can see on the right-hand side with that other IS-7. But anyway, the... IS-7 is well known for its very, very strong turret and its decent 130mm gun. I mean, the IS-4 is also known for that. Um, the side armor on the IS-7 has this very nice side skirting, which covers the hull, and the hull is at an angle, which makes the penetration in the side when you're side scraping even harder. Now, I say it has a strong turret, but you're going to see later on that not everything is as it seems with the turret. And I was actually quite surprised. And you're going to see why in just a few moments. But anyway, that was quite a quick kill there. 423 damage into the T-49. He was a stock T-49. E-100 side scraping. No way I'm going to pen that. So I need to be careful here. Uh, the gun itself. 490 average damage, 250 pen with standard armor piercing, side level 50B, no problem at all. However, main weakness of the ISM from the front is the lower plate. Why wouldn't it be? And shooting APCR, 325 pen from the AMX 50B's 120mm gun will go for you no problem. Now, that 50B, however, has been dealt with, and we're up to 1400 damage done. This, by the way, won't be a 6,000 damage done replay. This isn't what this is about. Try to make a quick snapshot on the opposing Jagdpanzer E100. And I'm trying to side scrape around this uh, statue. Getting a bit stuck on the wall, so we go forward. He comes forward a bit. Do we get a shot in? Yes, we do. And I get shot square in the front of the turret. And it goes in. <laughs> this is one of the strongest turrets in the game, and I just got penned by a tier 10 tank destroyer. Now, the initial onset was after I just played this game, or when I was playing rather, the initial thing I felt was, how is that possible? This turret has 250 millimeters of raw thickness, but the huge amount of angling surely would make this turret nigh on impenetrable. You've seen Wargaming's videos where they fire loads of Waffen-Trigger 128mm shells at the front of the turret and nothing happens. So, the Jagdpanzer on the other hand can penetrate me. Now, on closer inspection, I think I was a tad unlucky because if you can see where the, uh, the shell hole is, it's right on the corner of where the turret mantle is and my turret mantle at this point is slightly raised which therefore means the turret is actually weaker underneath the mantle and the mantle or closer inspection um, or underneath the mantle is actually about 100 millimeters or 120 millimeters so as you can see it's just on the corner and that means that's quite unlucky for me if he hit me here or here, it wouldn't have penned. No way would that have penned. Even though it is a uh, yeah, Panzer 100 with its 170mm gun, not a lot goes through the front of that turret unless you're very, very unlucky and you get hit underneath the gun mantle. Let's get back to the replay. So the uh, enemy finds it hilarious, but it's kind of a bit of a one-trick pony because when we track him in place, Oops, three cameras activated. Uh, we track him in place, and then our allies deal with him. With the incredible power of the Waffen Trigger, you Waffen Trigger, with the incredible power of the Jagdpanzer 100, you get a downside of terrible mobility, terrible reload, terrible side armor, and rear armor. So when you get surrounded and flanked by mediums, that's what happens really. And the I-7 is kind of similar, although the I-7 is much faster. The rear is useless. You can get penned, obviously, in the rear of most tanks. And it's quite slow to react. 
the track traverse is also a tad slow and on this kind this type of ground if you're on snowy terrain you're not going to uh, be able to traverse quickly enough to re-engage targets which have surrounded you and you can see i keep panning the camera forward in disbelief um but it would seem that i was a tad unlucky uh i don't actually know the raw penetration of the jagdpanzer e100 i know it's ap shells sorry it's heat shells the premium shells have 420 millimeters of pen which is insane and would probably pen the front of this turret mm, some of the time not all the time um it depends where it hit really from the front but firing ap i was surprised it actually penetrated then again i might be wrong and ap could just penetrate the front of the vehicle anyway but it's never happened to me before Hitting the IS-7 in the lower plate with 250 pen is pretty easy, and we're up to 3,000 damage done. Can we get another one in? Oh yeah, poor gun depression of course with all Soviet tanks. Having the turret at, right in the front of the tank as well uh, means your depression over the rear is poor, over the rear of the engine deck. But the remaining enemies are just one tier 9 and one tier 10 medium and this game is pretty much over so we'll just take a look at the post game screenshots or post game stats so here we are with the post game screenshot it was a victory 60,000 credits 2,440 experience times two first one day premium account blah 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 <laughs> as you well know by now uh, only a second class I have yet to achieve a mastery, as you can see with the tanks at the bottom of the image there. Uh, all of my other heavy tanks, other than the Tog 2, I think have masteries in them. It's something I like to do with the heavy tanks. I am mostly a heavy tank player, but mediums as well. Anyway, uh, and, and some tank destroyers, but my preference is heavy tanks. Moving on, 3,478 damage done. Reasonable amount of damage done. We were top tier, of course, and it's unsurprising that we did that amount of work. However, IS-7s, all the tier 10s can do huge amounts of uh, damage, so it's unsurprising we only got a second class. The detailed report, 9 shots fired, 9 hits, 7 penetrations, total of 3,500 damage, 2 hits, 2 penetrations, uh, well, 2 hits received, rather. So we didn't block any damage. Normally, uh, you would block damage on the turret but as you saw the armor didn't hold up unfortunately uh, one was an APCR around the 325 pen and the other I've forgotten how much pen it has but it's probably in the 270 to 80 mark um, but anyway that went in unfortunately it might be more than that I, I don't actually know uh, might even be over 300 for the egg pen the spotting damage, we spotted three enemy vehicles, which is decent. Four enemy vehicles damaged and one destroyed, 604 assistance it's damage, uh, spotting damage. And the breakdown of credits, the ammunition does cost a lot, and it is quite hard to make a profit in tier 10s, especially on a standard account. On a standard account, I only would have made 12,000 profit, but on this premium account, 32,000 credits were made. And there was a breakdown of the experience at the bottom there so the is7 tell me your thoughts have you got one do you like it does the turret hold up for you normally other than that annoying weak spot underneath the gun mantle when you lift the gun up and are you frustrated at the terrible terrible uh traverse when you're on rough terrain i know most heavy tanks have this problem but the I-7 isn't very good at traversing. It's better than some German heavy tanks, obviously, but it is a little bit of an issue. Uh, do you have the I-4 or do you have both? Tell me comparisons to that. And uh, Anyway, let's wrap this up. I, of course, have been Jujin. This has been Model Tanks with the I-7. <laughs> Strong turret, uh, usually. And I will see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.